What's up guys, Sophie Soaps here with a new custom video and before we get into the video, I wanna let you guys know about a new sneaker website opening that's called solegitkicks.com. So they were formerly known as DJB Sneaks but are relaunching their website with a ton of awesome products and a new name. The website is reopening tomorrow and if you're in need of some sneakers, this is definitely the site that you should be checking out. There's gonna be some really cool products such as sneaker cleaners and not to mention this freaking awesome keychain that I got which I'm not even gonna lie, I'm a little bit obsessed with now. If you guys are looking for some deals, you can even use my channel exclusive code SOPHIESOAPS at checkout to get you a free sneaker cleaner with any shoe purchase. Once again, the website is reopening tomorrow and I highly recommend checking it out. Now for the video today, we're gonna be making our own Bape Tiger hoodie and I already know how to get a lot of hate from you diehard Bape fans out there, but let's be real, none of us wanna spend a ton of money on a hoodie and y'all already know I'm cheap AF, so of course I'm gonna show you how to recreate this. So we're gonna be making our own version today for a fraction of the price. This method is super durable and can even be put in the washing machine. So with that being said, let's get started. All right guys, so first things first, we need to do some work on the computer. We can start out by finding all of our images on Google. Now, keep in mind these images need to be pretty high quality to look as realistic as possible. For this particular design, we're going to need about three different images. It's important that the smaller tiger and text are on the same color background as the hoodie, while the bigger tiger can be on any color background. After we have our images, we're about ready to print. Now, the hood of the jacket is pretty big, so we want our images to be as large as possible. Once we get to the print drop down menu, we can change the sizing of the image where it says scale. If you're a Mac user, the largest you can make the image without any cutoffs is 145%. For the smaller tiger, the largest is 200%. For the text, the largest is 209%. Before printing, make sure your printer is loaded with any type of t-shirt transfer paper. I'm using some Avery fabric transfers to ensure a strong bond and high flexibility. Next up, let's get into some cutting. You can use scissors for this step, but I'm gonna go ahead and use an X-Acto knife for a more precise cut. I'm gonna do two precise cuts on the tiger and less precise cuts on the text and shapes. It's totally up to you if you wanna completely cut everything out, but it's gonna be a little harder to line everything up afterwards. I'm doing it this way since our images are on a black background. It'll be a lot easier to keep everything together and the excess will blend into the hoodie. It's really important to remove the fabric transfer from its paper backing or else the heating process won't work. Once removed, the transfer should feel rubbery and flexible. Now that we're finally done prepping everything, let's get our transfers onto the hood. I would suggest flattening the hoodie out and using a lint roller to remove any dust, hair, or particles that will interfere with the transfer. The next step is pretty simple. Most transfers will come with wax paper that will protect our image from burning on the iron. We can place this over our tiger and gently press the iron on top for about 10 to 15 seconds at a time. Once we've let the image cool down for a bit, we can peel the wax paper off. If any pieces are coming up or don't look attached, you can lay the wax paper over the image again and begin repressing with the iron. Now that we're done ironing our transfers on, let's move to that iconic zip up hoodie. This can be achieved with a zipper and a hot glue gun. If you're going for maximum durability, the zipper can be sewn to the fabric, but a hot glue gun should hold up just fine. First, let's measure how far up our zipper can go. I messed up and got a shorter zipper, but if you want the zipper to go all the way through the jacket, I would suggest getting an extra long size online. I only have enough to make a half zip sweater, so I'm going to start cutting from around the middle. I'll start by creating a small hole with my scissors and cutting a straight line up to the hood. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we're gonna place the bottom of the zipper into the hole that we just cut. We can do this by applying some glue from our hot glue gun and placing the zipper into the hole. The rest can be attached by applying a strip of hot glue to the outer edges of the zipper and placing the fabric on top. Lastly, make sure your zipper is fully functional by zipping it up and down. 